Welcome back to Soup to Nuts. In this video, we are making cracked puffed corn. So we've made this, or I should say Steve's made this cracked corn many times. And our crack, daughter- Not crap, crack. Yes, crack corn. <laughs> our daughter wanted some cracked corn for the holiday season. So we figured why not make a video about it and show you all how we do it. So, Let's get into the cooking and get this made. So we're gonna make this real easy. You take four sticks of butter and you throw it in the pan on medium low heat. No, not with the wrappers. Not with the wrappers. But I will say we are doubling the recipe. So normally the recipe calls for just two sticks of butter. But since we are doubling this, we are making, putting in four sticks of butter. Which turns out to be what? A pound? Yes. Plant-based butter. Yes. Otherwise uh, known as margarine. We're using the country crock plant butter, but if you're not um, doing dairy-free and all that, you can use real butter. But we're using plant-based country crock butter. And then we also need need one cup of light corn syrup. Just throw the cup in there. That's all you need. No. But if we were doing this as a single, once again, half a cup. So we've seen a lot of recipes out there on the internet. When you're making these, some call for one cup of brown sugar. Some call for two cups of brown sugar. So I think it doesn't matter as long as you use, you know, whatever you want. We're going to use one cup of brown sugar but we've doubled our recipe so we're putting two cups in already pre-measured light brown uh brown sugar so in our pan we have the butter the corn syrup and the brown sugar and then we're going to bring this up to a boil on medium heat so it's going to take a while medium for the, low for the butter to melt and everything to heat up so and you also you want to make sure it's on a low because you don't want it to burn you don't want burnt caramel because basically that's what we're doing. We're making a caramel. You're making caramels? I'm making caramel, yes. Caramels? Caramel. <laughs> While she's doing that, we had the, uh, the big baking sheets downstairs. We have small baking sheets, but it's a lot easier because uh, when you're cooking your popcorn in the oven or your puff corn in the oven, you have to take it out every 15 minutes and give it a stir. And the, the bigger the baking pan you have, the easier it is to control everything. Also, I forgot to mention, you want your oven at 250 degrees. So we already, we're, ours is already preheated. Is that Fahrenheit or Celsius? That's Fahrenheit. I have no idea what it is in Celsius. All right, so while she's got that going, I'm just gonna open this bag and divide it up. And uh, we've done this a, a couple of different times, and sometimes we found, hey, the, the caramel mixture is too much for the popcorn we put in. And so what you do, you add more corn puffs. And we have plenty of corn puffs if we need to add some. You don't need to make this all about the caramel, so. No, and looking at my pot, I'm thinking we probably should have chopped up the butter into smaller pieces, because I think that it would have melted a lot faster instead of being whole. Hmm, let me try these. Hmm, those are good. That'd be good snacking popcorn. Let me just make sure that these are still good. Those are yummy. I never tried them. Those are gonna be some good snacking popcorn. I think we're going to have more caramel than popcorn. So I'm just going to open this bag and I'm just going to put an extra handful because Angie's going to eat that much anyway before we get it made. It's pretty good. I mean, it's popcorn without the kernels. All right, you guys, it's almost to a boil. That took quite a while. So I got the phone. I just got the phone. Oh my gosh. Hey, born and raised in California. Like, okay. 
Um, I didn't meet her in California, or I would have threw her back. Where's your um, timer, your clock? Oh, yep, right there. Hit start quick, because I'm boiling. Okay. No. It's a boiling. Okay. Well, I was thinking it was supposed to be more of a rapid boil. I think this is as boiling as it's going to get. So you want it to boil for two minutes and constantly stirring it. Yeah, so after it comes to a good... Good we'll, broiling boil. Yeah. And I wish, you, I wish, can you hold that camera and point it down over this? So this is what your boil is going to look like. And you're going to keep stirring it. And we already have a timer on, but I just needed to get, get you a good view so you would know what it looks like. Again, it's going to be a science experiment when we put in the baking soda. Or baking powder and I'm gonna move one of these over because I'm gonna pull this off the heat so once your two minutes are up then you take it off of the heat then you add in your baking soda and vanilla and let's see we're at 140 right now and when I put it the way I remember this is if I put in the vanilla it's gonna knock it down then as soon as I put in the baking soda boom Okay, so we're four seconds away. I'm going to pull it off the heat. Turn the heat off. Slide this over to the cold side. I'm going to add uh, just a shot of vanilla. Not a lot. Ooh, look at it. We'll just give that a quick stir to get that in there. And here goes the science experiment. Kabam! Now, you can see it turning white in the reaction, and it's just foaming up. And I'm just going to stir, 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 stir. And that's why I used a big pan, because I just knew it was going to come up. Fold, fold. And I'm just going to stir this for a little bit. Get everything in there. All right, now I'm going to dump and stir on the popcorn. Okay, let's get the mix an inch. And you want to stir it as much as you can. And he didn't even put in the whole stuff. You just put in a little bit for right now. And you just want to mix it all around to get all the caramel as much as you can on the popcorn. But that caramel goes right to the bottom, so make sure yeah. you, you get it and you turn it over. And we've got our pans lined with parchment paper, so you kind of hang on the parchment paper. Yeah, because the parchment paper makes it so much easier to clean. And I've noticed in the past that if we put too much on there, that it, when you take it out of the oven on the final time, it kind of makes it sticky and not crunchy. Yeah. So we like it not so, and maybe that's why we didn't use, we never use that much. Okay. And it's okay if some of them doesn't get as much caramel. Because you're gonna you're gonna pull it out of the oven every 15 minutes and give it a stir, and that caramel won't set up while it's in the uh, when it's in the oven cooking. So you have plenty of time to get it. Well, we got a lot of caramel left. Well, we'll add the rest of the popcorn. Just move your popcorn down to one end, and we'll add a little popcorn on the ends. Delicious, folks. That's why we say <clears throat> if it looks like you need more caramel or more pop, you made too much caramel, 
Ugh. Add more popcorn. You got a little bit more caramel. All right. Okay, since we have, I have a little bit more caramel, I don't want it to go to waste. Ingredients aren't cheap nowadays. Yeah, that's for sure. So you want to use up as all of it. Okay, I'm going to pull. I know we got a pizza stone. I'm going to get the racks sorted out. Here. Oh, oh sorry. So oh. we ended up using what? Two big bags? Two big bags. So that, that turned out to be what? 30, 30 ounces. ounces. 30 ounces. So... And they normally call for the little seven ounce bags. Yeah, so ours isn't going to be real caramelly. It's going to be nice and yummy. Crunchy. And crunchy. Yeah. That's the best part is them being covered in the caramel, but yet crunchy. For sure. Ha bam! Okay, so in the oven they go for 15 minutes. So at 1218, we need to pull it out and stir it. So this is the first 15 minutes. They cook for 45 minutes. Every 15 minutes, you pull them out, give them a stir. We're only going to show this one time because that would be a boring video. Yeah, you just repeat it over and over. Wash, rinse, and repeat. So drop them off there. Okay. And bank. Now we'll just give them... A stir and put them right back in the There's oven. A pot holder for you. Definitely want to use pot holders because they're going to be hot. And like I say, the caramel stays nice and ooey gooey during the cooking process. So as you're stirring this, get that caramel off the bottom and just flip it over. And all the excess caramel will just cover everything. Five second rule here. All right. So back in the oven they go. We'll see you at the end. So this is the easy part. We laid the tin foil down. Now we have these foil pans, but all we have to do is pick up the parchment paper that is not hot and dump it down there. You want to get the other one? Yep. And everything is about separation now. So this cools off really quick on the on the tin foil. So. We'll spread this out. All we're doing is, as you can see, I'm just getting it all spread out so they can cool down quickly, harden up. Yep, the more individualized you can make each piece, the better. The better off you are. But yeah. anyways, the reason why they call this craft is because once you start, you can't stop. Well, you can, but it's pretty hard. So crack, that's why it's called crack. Crunchy. Delicious. And if you had too much, it would be gooey and stick to your teeth. Yes, and this this came out really good. This is uh, good. It's a good batch. It, it's a really good batch. So that's what you definitely want is yeah. crunchy. And crunchy and caramelly. So we have to run to the store, but what we're going to do, uh, we're going to wrap this up, but we'll vacuum pack this with a food saver and ship it off to, is it our favorite daughter or is it, our, I don't know. Well, it doesn't matter. <clears throat> I have three kids, two beautiful ones. <laughs> Ow. All right, so that is going to conclude this video. Hope you try it. You will definitely like it. It's not something that you should eat every day, but for, as a treat for once in a while, it's the holiday seasons. Mm. Go ahead and try it. But thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. See y'all. Bye.